Welcome to Modex 3D Designer step-by-step -step introduction. The whole procedure is divided up to five steps. The first step is to import the model. The second step is to build the runner system. And the third step is to specify the cooling system. Before you export the mesh, you have to generate a solid mesh model. First, click on this icon here. Select any STL file and then set the attribute as cavity, then click on open. Then use the drop down menu to set the measurement unit. Click on OK. Now you have successfully imported the geometry. Users can also check the surface mesh from here by simply click on the icon. The surface condition will be shown up here at the command window. Other model detail will be also shown here from the left control panel. Users can also display the model thickness. As you can see, the color indicates the thickness distribution. Then click on the green check mark before moving on. After importing the geometry, let's move on to step two, building the runner system. Designer offers the gate wizard, runner wizard, mail entrance wizard, and the symmetry configuration. Click on the gate wizard. Designer offers the pin gate, sprue gate, edge gate, fin gate, and many different types of gates. As you click on each icon, the gate description will be shown on the left control panel. For the purpose of the demonstration, we will go ahead and use the pin gate. The users are allowed to change the diameter and the length of the gate from here. Go ahead and click on the green check mark. Designers will also allow the users to place multiple gates on the cavity consecutively. Click on the green check mark again. Let's move on to the runner construction. Click on the runner wizard. The software will generate an initial runner automatically. The users are allowed to change the mode setting, the spruce setting, and the runner setting from the left control panel. The spruce setting can also be changed from here. The diameter of the sprue and the size of the mode entrance. Click on the next button. The runner setting allows the users to change the parameter, including the type and the code logs as well. Click on the green check mark before moving on. During the construction of the runner system, the software detects the mail entrance automatically, allowing the users to go ahead and move on to the cooling system construction. Let's move on to the step 3, specifying the cooling system. Designer offers small base wizard, cooling channel wizard, inlet and outlet wizard, and also the checking function. Click on the mold base wizard. The program will generate an initial mold base. The users can change the size and the parameter from the left control panel. Click on the next button. The height settings allow the users to change the overall height, the cavity height, or the core height. Click on the green check mark. The cooling channel wizard will generate a default cooling channel layout. The users can change the parameter according to the distance, diameters, and the numbers of the cooling channels. Let's go to the next step. The advanced settings allow the users to use hoses under the connect operation. The users can also change the positions of the cooling channels either above the part or below the part. Click on the green check mark. 
the inlet and outlet wizard will automatically detect the coolant entrance and exits for the users. Go ahead and click on the green check mark. Before moving on to the generation of solid mesh, users should check the cooling channels to ensure the quality of the mode design. The condition of the cooling channel will be displayed from the command window. Now the construction of the cooling system is finished. After the construction of the cooling system, we can then move on to the solid mesh generation. Before generating solid mesh, we can set the accuracy level from the meshing control. Each accuracy level indicates different mesh counts. The information will be displayed from the window here. For the purpose of the demonstration, we will go ahead and use the accuracy level 1. Click on OK. Then click on Generate. The window will display the mesh generation progress. After the generation of the solid mesh, the model detail will be shown from the left control panel, including the cavity mesh volume, the mesh level, the runner mesh counts, and the runner mesh volume. After the generation of solid mesh, we can then export the mesh model. Click on the Save Mesh file and then save the file under .mde. Then click on Save. The program will then check the file quality before exporting the file. We can now run the Modex 3D simulation. Welcome to Modex 3D project. Please double click here and then select the project mode. Then click on OK. The project wizard will assist you in creating a new project. First of all, name the project. Select the location for the file. Some projects require security considerations. You can also set the password. Then click Next to move on. Choose the proper setting by using the drop-down window. Then click on Next. Choose any available application and then click on Next. Under Other Settings, by using the Project Summary, users can manage and organize the project better. Click on Next. Before finishing the Project Setting Wizard, a small summary will be provided. Click on Finish. The project setting wizard will lead to the create a new run window for process condition setting and material selection. The project setting wizard will lead to the create a new run window for process condition setting and material selection. Under the option, click on new run, then select next. Use the drop-down menu to import the geometry. Select the MDE file, then click on Open. The file details will be shown on the screen. Click on Next. Use the drop-down menu to select a new material. The material bank offers close to 5,000 material characteristics for the users to choose from. Users can see the viscosity, PVT, heat capacity, and the mechanical properties of each single materials we offer. Then select the proper material. then add to the project. 
select OK. Now you can close the window. The material details will be shown on the screen. Next. The users can use the drop down menu. Click on New. The Create a New Run window will lead the users to the process window. Users are able to change the filling settings, cooling settings. The maximum ejection pressures and the packing pressures can be changed here. Then click on Next. Under the packing settings, the users can change the filling time, VP switch over, and packing time. By clicking on the flow rate profile, the users can change the flow rate versus the sections. Then click on OK. The melt temperature and the mold temperatures can also be changed from here. Click on Next. Under the cooling settings, users can use the drop down win window to change the cooling method. The air temperature Eject temperature and the cooling times can also be changed from here. Click on Next. Before finishing the process wizard, a small summary will be provided to the users. Click on Finish. Click on OK. The detail summary will be shown on the screen. Then click on Next. After the process condition settings, we can move on to computation parameter. Use the drop down menu and then click on new. The computation parameter allows the users to adjust the computing methods. For example, under the warpage, if the user decides to use fiber added materials for the project, then the user can click on the inmo constraint effect to obtain a more accurate computation results. Another example is the parallel computing. Under the task manager, the users can choose to have local host mode or the cluster mode to shorten the computation time. Then click on OK. The detailed computation parameters will be shown on the screen. Click on Next. Any warning messages will appear here on the screen for your references. Click on Finish. After the process condition settings in material selections, now we have the model in place for final analysis. Go to the left workspace and click on Analysis. Use the drop down menu. For the purpose of the demonstration, we will select the full analysis. The users can save the run for future use or click on Run Now. The job monitor in the analysis log will display the progress and the status of the final analysis. Let's take a look at the simulation results. Under the filling stage, the users can see the melt front time. Air trap. Weld line. Filling temperature, and also the sprue pressure. Under packing, the users can see the pressure distribution. And the clamping force. Under cooling, 
The users can see the cooling time and the cooling efficiency. Warpage analysis is another useful tool. Users can hide the runner to get a different view. Modex 3D also provides warpage scale for the users to fully predict the warpage scale. Modex project is a true simulation tool. It optimizes your product design with powerful engine. Thank you for your attention.